Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Joe Jones, and I am back with another video for you at top. What is going on, everybody? Hopefully today y'all are having an amazing day. You know why we here, so let's not play no games. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, Foot Locker, the Flex Rewards Program app, the one I hate the most, okay? It is absolutely the worst thing that ever happened let me think. I got nothing. I got nothing. I literally edited that. Y'all seen that jump cut? I was here for five minutes. I couldn't think of nothing. But it is literally the worst thing that ever happened in the sneaker community. I do not use, I do not even talk about anymore. Like, name the last time y'all seen me talk about the Flex Rewards app. It is absolutely terrible. I missed the countdown. The countdown is like the golden years of sneaker YouTube. That was before it was so saturated. That was before it was so much, oh my goodness, the, the countdown was the best years. Comment down below countdown if you agree with me, or you can simply just smash up the like button and do both. Anyway, the Air Jordan 1 will be re-releasing and it's only in-store only. So for my people who got all the 30 bots and 40 bots, it won't really help you because the only way you can pick these up is online. So if you go on Foot Locker right now, it ends at 5 o'clock. So you got up until 5 o'clock, I believe it's Foot Locker, uh, Champ Sports, Kids Foot Locker, and Foot Action. You will be able to reserve a pair of sneakers. And good luck to everybody. Now, I wanted to talk about this fact because I know a lot of people was hitting me up in my DMs. And a lot of even close friends was calling me like, yo, bro, I didn't hit on the first one. But however, I'm feeling good, real good about the second one. I'm about to cop. Hold your horses. You know what I'm saying? Let me stop you right there. This is gonna be a very hard shoe to cop. I'm asking around for stock numbers, close friends, people that I know know these numbers and everybody, you know what I'm saying? They out the loop. Nobody knows how many numbers they're gonna have. So that gives me like this kind of, you know, like, like this notion that it won't be as much as people think, but it's also not gonna be like a full size run. So I, I, it's guaranteed to be more than just a full size run for anybody who wanna get your hands on them. It's still worth going for it. But also understand the way that the Flex Rewards program picked the shoes is so trash. You have to have a crazy amount of points. Like me right now, I believe I got like 144,000. A lot of y'all might be like, damn, that's a lot. But if you know the Flex Rewards program, bro, it ain't, it. you know what I'm saying? It's nothing. You literally supposed to have millions of points racked up over time just in order to have your shoe guaranteed. And the reason why that's funny is because I was under the notion that the Flex Rewards app was supposed to be combating uh, resellers. But if you think about it, the resellers benefit most from this because they're the ones that's buying 50 pair of shoes every single day. They're the ones that's going to these stores buying 30 pair of Air Force Ones just to get cool with that manager, helping them move stuff that they can get out the store. So when Air Jordan Ones come around like this, the manager gonna hit them up like, hey bro, look, thanks for buying those phone posits we couldn't move for two months. They helped us look good. Now, in return, I got you. Here go these Air Jordan 1s. And that's not a shot. You know, shout out to my resellers. A lot of my close friends are resellers. You know what I'm saying? But that's the game. That's how it goes. So that's just how, you know, the Flex Rewards program works. Whoever has the most amount of points, technically, you have an advantage on winning. It's almost like rewarding the people who shot with you most. But it's kind of controversial because you're like, bro, look, how can I get my points up if I don't win? I have to win to get my points up. And that's when it comes to hand. Like, you might not just have to buy retros, bro. If you really want to cop shoes, bro, you might just have to go up to the store and buy nothing but uh, all white forces, buy 40 pair, run them numbers up. Go buy some socks, uh, buy the matching hat, go buy some Puma RSOs, you know what I'm saying? You might have to buy more than just the Jordans to run your account up, but I mean, nobody want to do that. Now, I have my pair right here. I've made a few videos. I made a ton of videos on these shoes, man. I actually just did a video comparing them to the Air Jordan 4 UNC. If you want to check that out, you can. And I also have a full on review and on foot up. You can check that out if you want to as well. Had to turn the brightness down a little bit. It was a little bit too hot, but yeah, man. I mean, you got a chance to win probably the biggest sneaker of the year, in my opinion, is going to be one of them. And let's talk about the resale value real quick while we're here. So usually the shoe goes down in value over how limited it is. So for example, this Travis Scott one low, right? Let's say if Travis Scott decides to restock on the Travis one low and he does like this crazy special surprise drop where he drops 300,000 more pair so everybody can get a pair. This shoe will tank super fast, super fast to the point where people will be handing these off, you know what I'm saying, for a raffle ticket and a piece of gum. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much how it works. But the shoes that stay out of the norm, you know what I'm saying, the shoes that stay rare and limited, they always keep the, the number, you know what I'm saying, they always keep the uh, high resale value. So since these are coming back out, 
I know a lot of people are like, all right, cool, look, Snipe, if I can't hit for these, at least resale will go down, and I'll be able to pick them up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, but you wrong at the same time, and here's the breakdown why. If When these shoes come back out, it's not to me, in my opinion, the stock value of how many shoes is coming out is not enough to change what's already been set. So they're not coming out with another 100,000, 300,000 pair. You know what I'm saying? At least to my knowledge. Like they're not coming out with another 300,000 pair. That would significantly ruin the resale price. So I'm gonna throw the resale price up on the screen right now. And currently this is what they are going for. Now, I do believe after they drop, they might go down like $10, $15, but they're not moving more than that, bro. They're, they're going to stay high. They're going to stay right here. Unless they just drop 300 to 200,000 pair. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's going to be, but that's not going to happen. That's a whole nother release. This shoe will stay a high commodity. This shoe will stay high in resale value. So if you're one of those people that just you can't hit and you got to pay resale, I would say, you know what I'm saying, uh, just buy it early because it's only going to go back up. I guarantee this shoe goes back up over time. That's that's the main thing. In the sneaker game right now, I'm going to give y'all a quick tip, bro. In the sneaker game right now, it's all about buy now before you have to pay crazy amount later. So, for example, you might catch a guy walking out the mall in these. I'm sorry, with these on release date. And they retail for 170 Be like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying, I'll give you 300 for them. He might give them to you. He might give them to you, all right? Hey, bro, I'll give you 350 for them right now. He might give them to you. Like, honestly, like, think about it. Unless they're a reseller. Unless they're a reseller. But a lot of times, people just go in and buy their shoe. Hey, bro, look, I'll give you 350 for them right now. He only paid 170 That's easy. But if you look on the screen, these go for 475 in a size 12, so you really just came up. You know what I'm You just came up $125. So, that's just like, if you can buy it early, not early as in before releases, but if you can buy it early, especially if you know it's going to be a shoe like a Jordan 1 Mocha, a Jordan 1 UNC, a Jordan 4 UNC that's about to come out. If you can buy that shoe early, you're kind of saving yourself because it's only going to get gross over time. Five years from now, seven years from now, three years from now, two years from now, this shoe will be way higher than what it's going for now. It will not decrease in value. I stand on it. I know for a fact. Lord, please let this video age well. And also, this is a great time for y'all to start making connections with different stores. I tell y'all this all the time. Connections bring you in places where money can't. Connections bring you in places that clout or popularity can't. At the end of the day, you gotta know the right people to be able to do the right moves. Hey, going on the days of you just walking into Foot Locker getting a fair shot. I know so many old head sneaker heads really hate that, but y'all gotta get out of the norm. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it goes anymore. You gotta network, you gotta get out there. And me, I'm not gonna lie, this, this, this crazy, fun personality that y'all see on YouTube, it is who I am, but it's two sides of me, bro. If you ever meet me in person, I'm very quiet to myself. You know what I'm saying? Very quiet to myself, I don't talk much, uh, unless I know you. If I know you and, I'm, and, 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 and I know who you are and we got a friend, if we friends or we got a relationship, this is the snipe you get. But I'm very reserved around people I don't know because I'm just guarded. And why I'm saying that is because I'm not the most go out, network, and shake hands guy either. I'm just not. But I also understand what business I'm in and I understand how important it is to do it. So even if you're an introvert like me, or even if you, you know what I'm saying, don't really get out much like me, I'm in the crib all day. I might go up a few places with my girl, get a few errands, and then I'm coming right back to the crib. I want to say they are coming in all sizes. So we got men sizes, we got grade school, and we even got preschool sizes. So I think everybody should be straight when it comes to, you know, what sizes they're coming in. Usually, when people get late shipments like this, it's only men sizes or it's only GS sizes. I thought it was kind of weird that all sizes are happening, but... I know when I talked to Hibbit, they was telling me they had late shipments. I even know a few stores that still hasn't even got Georgetown 3s because of late shipments. And it's still weird to me, bro. Like, we've been in this pandemic for over a year. There's no reason why we still behind. It's like, okay, cool. We understand what's going on. We had enough time to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so weird, bro. It's been a year. Now, when everything first started happening, I understand the world was shut down. But the world ain't shut down no more. I still don't understand why we have shipping delays. I still don't understand, like, bro, we had a year to figure this out. It's, it, it just baffles me that we still going through this after an entire year. The pandemic started March last year, if I'm not mistaken. Because I remember what I was doing March last year and everything kind of came to a halt because of that situation. But 
It was weird, whole year, and nothing has, you feel me? Nothing has came from it. Anyway, man, it is your boy, Schneider Jones. Comment down below what do you feel about the Air Jordan 1 High UNC restock or um, the re-release on the Nike Flex Rewards app. I don't know why I always say Nike, but the Foot Locker Flex Rewards app. And like I said, good luck to everybody who's going after these. Everybody want to be famous, but who really put in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.